Hi, it's Mike with UTASC. I'm here again at GoToConf 2015 in Chicago, sitting here with Bob Pollan, who is involved with the local Chicago Java user group, uh, CJUG for short, and also DevOx, uh, DevOx for Kids, which is an event that I got to take my daughter to uh, last week. I had a lot of fun where she did some scratch programming and played with clay. Um, it was a lot of fun, and well, thank you for taking the time to, to speak with me. What is DevOx for Kids, and you know, how did you get involved with, with helping coordinate that? Sure, yeah. I mean, DevOx for Kids is a program that evolved out of the DevOx conference, which mm -hmm. came out of the Belgium jug um, in Europe, and it, it was kind of just an add-on to the conference. So um, kids are basically given the opportunity to play around with technology, some of the mm -hmm. same technology that professionals use at work, and, you know, the goal of it is to show them all the fun stuff that they can do with technology, where it's like, hey, I can take Play-Doh and make it right. light up. I can take Minecraft and I can change how the behavior works. I can take um, robots and teach them how to move. So it's really about inspiring them to pursue technology careers and to um, you know see the fun parts right. of technology. Yeah, and I mean a lot of classes, uh, schools are starting to teach Java now, but they come into a Minecraft class and now Java takes on a whole new uh, uh, spectrum where they're it's fun. You can do stuff with it. You know, if they love Minecraft. Now they can. I mean, some of the kids were so excited that they could create a new sword. Right, you know, right. Like, yeah, I mean, the, the format is really what's yeah. unique about it. So DevOx came out uh, of the DevOx conference. Uh, Daniel Delucia mm -hmm. from um, DevOx is, is kind of running it right now. Stefan Jens Jensen is mm -hmm. the creator of it. And what they have the kids do is so they invite the parents and they take the approach that the theory is not really the important part at that age. At that age, you're trying to get the kids to see, hey, I can manipulate things in the real world. Yeah. This is adding value to things I'm already playing with, like Legos, like Play-Doh, like Minecraft. Yeah. And it gives them a whole new perspective because not only can I now change you know, how the game is played by playing it, but I can actually change how the internals work. Right. Yeah, because I mean, a lot of us are now starting to move where computers are commodities and yep. they're and they're they're just you just buy a computer it's a thing and it does stuff you don't really have to understand how it does it but you give them a little lever that they can start to find a wedge that they right. can say like oh that does that is something I can And the control. kids can decide how far down the rabbit hole yeah. they actually want to go because it goes pretty deep. Yeah, so yeah. if you scare them away with object-oriented and, and some of the techniques that you're taught in college, yeah. it kind of disengages them. So, But if you show them, hey, I can use this to accomplish a goal, it's right. like, okay, I want, I'm in Minecraft. I want to face the Ender Dragon. Well, guess what? You can spawn <laughs> up your own Ender Dragon yeah, yeah, if you change the code. Yeah, right? yeah or if, you, if you're if you saying, oh, wow, this is kind of this mod didn't do what I liked. Like, right. Um, you know, the, the dragons are blue. They should be purple because they should be purple. I mean, Done deal. I, you, <laughs> they can figure it out. They can get in there and, and realize that that's a world that they have some ownership and control over. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so just to take a step back to the, the DevOx, um, what is it? Is that a conference series you said on its own? Or? Yeah. So DevOx, I mean, it evolved out of the Belgium jug. They've got a number of different locations throughout Europe. Um, and the For Kids stuff came over to the U.S. Arun Gupta from Red Hat brought it over. And I learned about it actually at Java 1 <laughs> when his son gave the keynote. Oh, really? Doing Minecraft modding in front of a bunch of professional Java oh, developers. Man. So I was like, okay, here I have, like, I believe he was 10 years old at the time doing a keynote. Yeah, yeah. Community and it's like he's in Eclipse, he's programming. Right. So it was like it clicked for me. I'm like, we should be doing this in Chicago. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was just a matter of, of finding a partner, which we found at Loyola, to provide the space, the computers, the labs, because surprise, mm -hmm. not every six year old has a PC. Right, right. Um, so, you know, we had a great partner in providing that. And once we had the venue, everything just kind yeah. of accelerated. Volunteers such as yourself helping out. Yeah, it was a lot um, of fun. Yeah, no, I mean, that's, that's what makes this stuff work. You get a bunch of good tech professionals that are passionate about this and passionate about. Um, um, 
um, you know, teaching kids that, hey, this is actually a fun thing to do with your time, and the kids eat it up. They love it. So are you looking at doing one of these again, or do you have any thoughts for maybe a future evolution, lessons learned? Oh, yeah. So, I mean, we, we learned a ton. I mean, none of us are professional educators, so there were certainly things that just in working the conference that we learned that we know we can do better. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just, you know, you, it's like anything in software development. Right. You learn by doing it. Yeah. Um, so we're thinking the big thing that we did was is more of an annual thing. So mm-hmm. we're going to be looking to do that again next year. But, um, you know, if there are places that we can find to do mini sessions mm-hmm. on a monthly or bi-monthly basis, right. you know, we're definitely looking for, for, for spots for that okay. um, where people have things, you know, they, they have space and they have labs and, and we have people that are passionate about this. Yeah, they can um, come out and provide, the manpower, out and provide the manpower. Or the woman power. Every, the, exactly. The people power. The people people power. power. Yes. <laughs> yes, we got to, you know, be aware. <laughs> I myself. But, uh, uh, yeah, great. Well, thank you very much for taking the time. Thank you for putting on the events. That was oh, no, a lot of my fun. My pleasure. My daughter was talking all about it in her STEM class. And for those of you who don't maybe have kids or kids are a little bit too young, STEM is now a thing. So stuff like DevOx really dovetails in really nicely into their their ongoing education as well. So, Absolutely. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you.